Hey guys, Miss Warren here. I wanted to talk to y'all about today um, the first step in making our shoe print project. So here we have an example of the finished product. Um, we're gonna make a stamp. Um, then we're going to um, stamp it into the background. Then we're gonna draw some shoes in, on black paper, cut them out and glue them to the surface. So this is the finished product. Now we're just doing the planning phases of the first step. We're gonna come up with three different designs for the stamp that we want in the background. And I'm gonna do that by taking the piece of cardboard I've given y'all and I'm gonna trace it onto my paper three times. So I know about what size I'm dealing with on here. Now you're not gonna get be able to get teeny tiny detail. You wanna think about things that are silhouetted and just the outline of things. Now for my first stamp, I think I wanna do cut the, uh, we're gonna be cutting foam into small pieces and gluing it onto the surface to make our stamp. So I think I wanna cut maybe a corner piece like this in each of the corners for my first design idea. And then maybe like a shape in the middle. For my next one, I might wanna do some lettering. Now, you're going to have to do it, when you glue it down, you're gonna to have to do it mirror image because a stamp is always backwards from when you stamp it. So, you have to do it mirror image. So if I wanted to do high, do. Now, if it was a more difficult letter, like a D, I'd have to write the D backwards. Now you could do it frontwards and then just glue it on backwards, but this is how like the end would look. Um, and then I could do, and yet again, maybe little designs in the corners to kind of fill up that space. Or maybe actually, let's do a frame around the edge. That would be a concept there. Now, um, lettering, yet again, um, if you wanted to do initials, it would you would have to put it on there backwards because it's gonna stamp mirror image. So you can write it and cut it out forward, but when you glue it down, like if I wanted to do my initials, I'd have to glue them down mirror image like this for the stamp to work. And then I can do, you know, some different shapes or cutouts over here, or maybe over here, and over here. Okay, so this would be three different kind of ideas. You could do an animal, you can do a shape, you can do some lettering, um, you could do a negative or positive stamp. So there we've got our concepts. Now we're gonna decide on which one. I think I'm gonna start with the heart one. Um, now I'm going to grab my piece of foam, figure out where I put that down at. I'm